you're going to start embracing and saying, I am not selfish for wanting to not do this. You are not selfish. Hi, welcome back to The Couch with Joy. Thank you for tuning in with me again. I am so grateful you guys chose to come and view me today. Um, today we're going to talk about ignoring your feelings and why you just cannot. And the questions you can ask if you're like, how can I start like paying more attention to my feelings? What are those things, Joy? And I'm gonna dive into that today. Um, I always ask people when they, they it, it always starts with, I keep getting in these bad relationships, Joy. I don't know how to just, all the partners I'm picking are just not the one. Or I'm at this job and I hate it and I don't really wanna be there. Or it could sound like this, um, girl, I'm going on a girl's trip, but I really don't wanna go with them, but I'm gonna go. That's ignoring your feelings. And I can remember, um, Growing up, right, this is where I learned to ignore mine. Growing up, if you went to somebody's house and you were hungry and somebody said, you better not, <laughs> you better not. If they offer you some food, you better say no. Or go on over there and get them some sugar and you know they breath stink, you know it too. And every time they kiss you on your cheek, it, it leave that, you know it, everybody know what I'm talking about. It leave that little smell. That's what I'm saying. And you had to kiss them because if you didn't kiss them, then people would be like, oh, they not nice. You a mean little girl or you a mean little boy. They used to always say that if you did something that you didn't want to do, you you did it anyway, it never, it only helped the person and never helped you. And it always left you feeling like, dang, well, I always got to do something I don't really want to do to be nice. You know, so today we're just gonna re, you know, we're gonna erase that and we're gonna stop doing that today. We're not gonna just do things to be nice. We're not just gonna say yes, just because we're gonna put ourselves first, okay? And I remember vividly ignoring my feelings so much as a child that it led to my adulthood, to where I started just doing stuff I just didn't wanna do, being around people I didn't really too much care about, but I. I liked them enough to say, I'll help, I'll go, I'll do it. And I was the only person hurt in the end, okay? So you're asking, Joy, how can I start to acknowledge where the neglect is coming from? You have to ask yourself some questions. If you are still doing stuff that you don't wanna do and you are afraid to say no, then we have to know where that comes from first. So write that down. Where is where 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 does the neglect start? Where did it start? Why am I not paying attention to what I'm feeling? Okay, write that down. And so you, the first thing I can say is you have to ask yourself: Do I really want to do this? In any situation, do I really want to do this? And like sit with it. And if the answer keeps popping up, no, there's no easiness in your spirit, and you sought counsel. <laughs> Don't do it, baby. Don't do it. It will only hurt you. Okay, so that's the first step. Ask yourself, do I really want to do this in that moment? Okay, and then ask yourself, how do I really feel about this job? How do I really feel about this relationship? How do I really feel about this friendship? Or how do I really feel about my family member? You got to be honest. Okay, with yourself and be as blunt as possible with yourself. So you'll know how to, you know, if you're blunt with yourself, you can kind of take it down a notch when it comes to other people because they are human beings with feelings. So, but we're not gonna care enough to where you leave yourself out. We're gonna balance that, okay? Um, you're gonna make sure that you are putting you and your feelings first. So be as blunt as possible. Say, no, I don't wanna go. And so when you meet that person and you can say, hey, right now is not the best time for me emotionally or just energetically, I don't have the energy for it or whatever you come up with, but write it down. How do you really feel about whatever, 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 okay? Three, does this relationship, does this errand, does this event, does this trip, does this anything deplete me 
or does it add to me? Okay, is what you're saying, is what you're contemplating going to add or deplete you? A lot of the times we, um, we always end up depleted when we do something we don't want to do. Um, and then sometimes it leads to resentment of the person who acts when they really don't know half the time that you're even feeling that way. But we're going to open this up and we're going to be free and we're going to start tapping into our own feelings and not the feelings of others. They matter, but yours matter too. Yeah, they do. So we are going to what? Ask ourselves, does this deplete me or does this add to me? Does this deplete me or does this add to me? Write this down in y'all journals too, okay? Um, last thing, you're going to start embracing and saying, I am not selfish for wanting to not do this. You are not selfish. You're not being mean. You're not being rude you're actually doing something very great for yourself. You're choosing to say, mm, that don't feel right. I'ma just excuse myself. That's power and you'll feel empowered. And then you'll, your body and you will start getting in the motion of choosing the better. You'll start saying no all the time. No, I don't feel like that. No, I don't feel like that. And it's gonna challenge you and it's gonna challenge everybody around you because they're gonna be like, what? She not coming? She ain't doing it. No. And there's nothing wrong with you for wanting that. Okay. So let's start from the top. You're going to ask yourself, do you want this? Do I want this? Do I really want this? And then you're going to say, how am I feeling about the job, the relationship, the errand, the event, the trip? How am I feeling? And then you're going to go, does this action or does this relationship add or deplete me? Am I giving away too much and not receiving? We're going to ask, those que ask that question and then you're going to start embracing and saying that you're not selfish. There's nothing wrong with me for wanting better, for wanting more, for wanting to be happy or just wanting to go to sleep when I don't want to go out because I need to rest. Choose you, boo. Choose you. OK. And I want to make sure that everybody got it. So I want you to close your eyes. And, and really center in and tap into yourself, feel your fingertips, will your nose a little bit, will your eyebrows, and just relax. And I want you to say this aloud. My life and desires are important. My life and my desires are important. And breathe that in and really like take it in that your life is important just as much as the other people around you is. Everybody's life is important, including yours. Say this, I am not selfish for putting myself first. I am not selfish for choosing me. I am not selfish for putting myself first. Say that. Also, I release old bad habits. I release old bad habits. I release what doesn't feel good to me. I release what doesn't feel good to me. I release it and I let it go. I release it and I let it go. I release it and I let it go. Y'all have to really dig into yourselves, really tap into yourselves and release the things that don't serve you anymore. It, we're, we're getting up, you know, in age <laughs> and wisdom and all of that. It's time for you to start living for you. It's time for you to be happy. It's time for you to be at peace. And it's time for you to get your own bag. It is. It's time, baby. No more waiting. Today is the day. Release all the bad stuff and let it go. Okay? We're not going to ignore our feelings anymore. Say, I'm not going to ignore my feelings. I'm going to tap into them. Okay? I hope that this has helped you today to really recognize and be aware of what you want and what you desire. Okay? Peace. Thank you for tuning in with me. I hope to see you next time. Mm -hmm.